Whoa. He didn't even fall in half. Look at that. I've cut this guy in half and he's not even falling. He doesn't even know he's dead yet. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. And he's falling away. There we go. Now he knows he's dead. It's really sunk in for him now. <laughs> Severity of the situation is sinking in for these guys. Oh, there he goes. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What's my health like? 40. That is dire. That is dire straits. Come here. Come here. There we go. There we go. Eat that. Thank you. Beardo Benjo. Whoa. Oh, this music reminds me of Jet Set Radio. Hell yeah. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be checking out Samurai Slaughterhouse today. This is a game I've been following the development of for probably over a year. Like, I've been really closely looking at this game, checking out all the videos that have been shared on Twitter, and this is going to be the first time I'm jumping in to actually play it myself. Now, I'm a huge fan of Afro Samurai, and I'm sure this game pulls its inspirations from much more than just Afro Samurai, but to me, this looks like the closest thing I'm ever going to get to an Afro Samurai VR game. And I absolutely adore the art style immediately. Now, this is running natively on the Quest 2. It looks absolutely stunning. It's a insane art style. I haven't seen anything like this on the Quest or on PC VR for that matter. The game will also be out on PC VR when it does launch. You can jump in to early access right now by grabbing the game on itch.io. But for now, let's let's just check it out. Right, I'm going to pick a new save slot. I started that one a minute ago just to make just to make sure it loaded. I didn't play anything. Just wanted to make sure that it loaded. All right, let's go into this one here. Okay, welcome to the dojo, I guess. I love the backdrops. I love how they're kind of like paintings or, or kind of hand-drawn pictures. They're flat. They don't have any depth to them. It looks like almost um, a piece of fabric that's like wrapped around the world. <laughs> really interesting art style. I, I absolutely love it. It really pops. Okay, I'm supposed to go that way, surely, but if I go this way, what happens? You feel invisible bony hands grabbing onto you and holding, bounding your soul to the mountain. Okay, so I'm being kind of like accosted by skeletons. This is this is a horse man. This is a horse man wearing a pair of pants on his head. That's that's a unique thing that I didn't think I'd be seeing today. He looks like he's having a good time though. Tongues out. Tongues out, tails wagging. Skeletons riding him. This skeleton has a Friar Tuck haircut. Love that. All right, let's go up the steps and uh, into the dojo. Into the dojo. Hello. Hello, Mr. Fox. You're looking very smart. I like your little neckerchief. I love a neckerchief. I should start uh, adding them to my wardrobe, really. Ugh! Hello. What are you? Thank you. Are you a bear? I'm, I would say I am ready, but I'm, I've not done any tutorials, so probably not. Seven scrolls around the dojo. Okay. Once you have found and read all seven scrolls, yep. you will be ready for the next step. Okay, so you want me to go around and just find some scrolls, yeah? Okay, that's fine, Mr. Bear. I wish I could touch you pro- Oh! Okay, I can push you around. That's- Oh! 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 Okay, I'm probably not going to push you too- <laughs> Too much more. I don't want to. I don't wanna, like break the game. It is an early access. Like if I push him out of the room, will that break the game? Right. We're looking for scrolls. Um, teleporting is as easy as pulling down on the analog stick. Oh my god, the music! So good. Right. Okay. So we do have a teleport as well, and you get some like kind of anime zoom lines, <laughs> um, speed lines when you do that at the edges of the screen. Very, very cool. Reach over your right shoulder to grab your companion spirit and give him a toss. Ah, I don't know about that. Speaking to him will allow you to access various menus. <laughs> what are you? I don't even know what you are, bro. What the f... Hello? Hi, boss. What can I do for you? Oh my lord, can you bring me this? Okay, uh, uh, okay. I can't look at the menu because you're moving. Um, check quests. Find the seven hint scrolls. You're the menu system. 
That's actually quite amazing. <laughs> will you come back to me every time? You will. Okay, check resources. You can't. Okay, we're just gonna we'll worry about that later. Okay, more scrolls. The katana, like many other weapons, can be worn on the hip if it is stored in its sheath. Okay. Right, can we put that in there? Can I then un? Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, do I need to unsheath the katana first? Okay, that's unsheathed. I'll put the sheath there, and then do I? How do I? <laughs> do I have to? How do I put it back in? <laughs> okay, it's kind of going in and out. It's <laughs> okay, I'm having some, some tracking issues here, clearly. Okay, I have the katana, I have the sheath, and I just want to put it back in. Put it back in, that's it. That's it, that's fine. Put that okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, katana is sheathed. Where the hell are the other scrolls? Okay, what's this say? Uh, pull down on the joystick to teleport dash. Your dash ability can be used for climbing up ledges and reaching higher places. Can it? Oh, it can. Okay, so we can, we can do a little bit of parkour here by oh, oh, by using that. Okay, I assume there's probably a thingy up here. I like this. I like that. Put that down there. I'll play with that in a minute. Okay, so I have a backpack. I imagine I have a Walking Dead style backpack. Right, I do. Okay. So can I put this on a side slot? Yes, look at that! Walking Dead Saints and Sinners inspired backpack. Okay, forget how these work. Aren't you supposed to like dodge? This is probably not how these work. I don't think this is a very accurate depiction of how these work. Okay, the game has a bow, which means it's my new favourite. Uh, can't seem to kill the bear man though. That is, that is a deep shame. Oh, I can knock him back a bit. Have that right in your gut, mate. Get, get this. Get Legolas. Get absolutely Legolas. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I like the arrows going into stuff, and it bounced off of the other arrow when it couldn't go in. Hold on. Yep, I like that. I like that. That's very cool. Can I put that there? Is that now? I don't know where it's gone. I think I put it over my back shoulder, but I can't seem to pull it back. Oh, that was a terrible throw. <laughs> it's a terrible throw. Are you supposed to throw it like that or like that or like that? Oh, now are these called kunai? Is it kunai? I think it is. I want to call it a ninja death star, but I don't think that's like the official terminology. I really like throwing that. That is amazing. Can I throw it through this like gong thing? Damn! I can knock it over. Ah! A lucky cat! Can I have this? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, can I put the cat on there? I can. Hey! <laughs> it broke! That was cool. Drawers can be opened. More kunai in there. I swear they're kunai. I could be saying the wrong thing now. Oh, hello. Be sure to look through boxes and drawers. You never know what kind of useful items you may find. Thank you very much. I imagine there's going to be... Yes. <gasps> oh, I've eaten it. Don't know what it did. Um, grab an item and press the primary button, A, B, on the hand. You're holding the item to see what the item does. Too late. I've already eaten it. Okay, the bear man said I'm allowed to leave because I found all the scrolls. So I'm going to fill my backpack with goodies and then I'll leave. I think... I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this stuff as I progress through, but... Um, it's probably worth trying to take it with me, right? Oh, I like the... Are these called Psy? No! Okay, they're, they're too big, I think. Too big for the backpack. Mm. Oh! No, 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 they do go in, they do go in. They do go in. You just gotta get it right. You just gotta get it... There we go. Goodbye, bear man. You taught me literally nothing. Probably the worst sensei ever. If you even are my sensei, you might not even be a sensei to me. Can I leave? Oh, are these immediately bad guys? Do I now have to fight the bad guys? Okay. I better get that out then. Can I like... Can I just go in big here and just kill... Okay, hello. Hello, sir. Please, uh, don't... Uh, I haven't even had any training, mate. What the flip? Oh my god, that's bloody. Okay. Oh my god, I've chopped his head in half. Oh! Oh my god, okay. This is a bit gorier than I anticipated. Oh, yes. Oh, that's quite lovely. Yes. Yes. 
I like, yeah, I like all that blood that comes out. That's very nice. Look at that! Oh my god! Okay, what happened here? Is that a bit of his head? Is that a bit of that guy's face? Honestly, look at that guy. I carved him like a Christmas turkey. Little bit of his arm, little bit of his face. Just the worst day ever for him. Can I have that? Yes, I can. Brilliant. I now have a hat. Fantastic. All right, put that there. I like that. I like that. I can just stick that there. Can I get this hat off? Okay, I can. Nice. Put that there. I like this so far. It's running really well on the quest. This room went a little bit choppy when I came in, but I am recording with full rate capture, which tends to push the quest quite hard as well. So it could be that more than the game itself. Colored doors have special ways they need to be opened. Explore the castle to figure out how to open them. Okay, I can't just chop it open. That's not an option. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, um, that's a nice little touch. You just shish kebab things. No, I need you to come off, please. No, and this is like my only sword. Oh, for God's sake, get off. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Stay there. Doors that have locks on them will need to be opened with a key. Keys can be found throughout the castle. Did I did I get a key? Okay, well, okay, I didn't get a key. All right, up these stairs. Hello? <gasps> oh, no. There's a samurai. <gasps> oh, no. There's another one. He's going to die. Check that out. That was easy. Oh, my good God. Um, uh, get his leg off. Get his bloody leg off. <laughs> get his leg off. Why won't his leg come off? <laughs> okay, he's dead. That's fine. That's all that needed to happen. That. Oh, oh, okay. Right, can we lift them up afterwards? Oh, probably not. Uh, 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 no, okay, they're a bit, too, a bit too heavy to lift up. Oh, no, I've gone to the floor. Uh, this is chaotic. Oh, hello. Um, can I have your katanas? I'm going to do, like, double uh, katanas. Right, I can do double katanas. That's pretty cool. Oh. Whoa, the flip. This is not a very good way of fighting with katanas. What the fuck? Oh, that's so cool! He's gone in half! <laughs> He's gone in half! That is so cool! What's wrong with you? Ah, oh, just die. Flipping hell. This is really quite impressive for the quest. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, all the physics kind of colliding with each other. The blood splatters. The fact that you can cut him down the middle. Oh my god, look at that! Is that, like, anatomically correct? I don't think it is. I don't think we're filled with... Well, I don't know, maybe we are. Oh, I've got his toes! I've got his toes off as well, look. Poor guy. Okay, can we open this with this? I want to do everything with my swords, please. Ah, oh, money! I'm rich. It's like Mario. What do I spend the coins on? Samurai-esque upgrades. Look at your left wrist to check how much life you have left in you. Ah, oh, there we go. 90. What does 90 mean? Is that good? 90 must be good. 100 must be the limit. 90's, you know, almost as good as it gets. Okay, up we go. I want more guys to fight. I love fighting the dudes. It's so fun. I'm gonna throw the swords. Oh, God, he didn't like that. <laughs> oh, shh. Sorry, hold on. Let me get this. Oh, I'm holding it the wrong way around. Hold on. Hold, hold on, mate. Jesus Christ. Right. Oof, flipping heck. Right, none of that. None of that. I've, oh, give me that back. Oh, you do lose your hands every now and then. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's got killed by his friend. Right, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, wasn't as cool as I hoped it would be. Ah. Right, one of you's getting chopped in half. I don't know which one it is. It's going to be you, actually. Oh, nearly. What about you? Oh, yeah. That is so gratifying. That is so ridiculously gratifying. Look at that. his hand. His, oh. Holy cow. The game does have some stuff to work out, like your hand kind of pulling away like that, doing that kind of stretch Armstrong thing when you kind of try to pull something out of the hard surface. But as I say, it's still in development. Um, and it's very cool so far. Hello, fellas. You're about to die. <laughs> in half. In half. Oh, his head's gone. Oh, this is like... Quest 2 Game of the Year material. This is so cool. This is so cool. Can I have a fish? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, sorry, juggling with the fish. <laughs> what happened there? Fish dropped, I didn't mean it. Oh, it dropped koi scales. Oh, that's cool. Guys, what are you playing at? What are you trying to do to me? Oh, that's gone. You dead? No, nope, he's still good. Oh, right down the middle. Oh, come on, man. Oh, a bit delayed, but that's fine. Um, can I take this? I can't believe the game doesn't have a jump button. It must have a jump button, right? Maybe there, maybe there's not jump. Maybe you just have to use like the teleport. I guess is your version of a jump. I keep forgetting that I have the teleport. Okay, can I actually catch a fish? I can. Oh, oh, oi! Oh, that's so nice. Fish dropped three koi scale. Okay, so you get koi scales from the fish. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess you can use them for something. You gonna die? You gonna die? Oi! <laughs> oh, come in. All right, we're hopping. We're hopping over the stones. We're hopping over the stones. How many dudes? How many? One less. Oh. What the? F okay, this is insane. We're hopping. Hop back over here. Christ Almighty! Ooh, good block. Oh. This is like really cool. If they could implement, um, I've been playing. Oh, hello! He dropped a little, a little sarni. Uh, onigiri restores 10 HP. Can only be eaten if HP is not a maximum. 40 health. Okay, I need all of these sandwiches. Can I stab it with this? No. Oh! Uh, ah. I was going to say, stab it with that and then eat it. Okay, this music's great. Oh. Okay. Take a minute to appreciate this music. <laughs> this is very Afro Samurai. The music specifically. Okay. More coins. Lovely. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of um, Grimlord recently. I mean, that's got a really nice kind of parry mechanic. It feels very Dark Soulsy. That way, if you collide with... Oh my god, hit that coin then. Knocking about. Ooh! Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, in Grimlord, if you collide with the enemy attacks, it kind of does a, a clink, and there's a kind of a parry, and they kind of stagger for a minute. That I think that would apply really nicely here. It feels like the combat's a lot faster in this than in Grimlord. They kind of keep coming at you, but they w it would be kind of nice to get a defined kind of bing, like a bit of a parry and opening, and make it quite clear to the player so that you can then or chop them in half or chop an arm off. Oh, <laughs> I keep sticking my sword into things. Come here with a plant yokai that you've befriended. Where the hell am I going to find a plant yokai? Where, uh, where, where do I, where do I do that? Okay, hold on. Do I already have one of those? Yes, I do. So I don't need that one. We can leave that one there in the floor. Okay, right. Plant yokai. Plant yokai. Oh, God. Oh, he's in half his legs off. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on. There we go. See, that's nice. And they do stagger, okay? That's fair. They do stagger. Nice. There is a bit more um, to it than I realised. They do have kind of like a cool down almost. So, hold on. So, we hit that. Yeah, they go into like a kind of a staggered, parryable state. Or a state after they've been parried. Um, I guess I'd just like it to be a little bit more defined. I'm just looking for a bit more kind of a, a clink, like a kind of a big flashy animation almost, because everything else in this world is very gorgeous looking. I th oh, have I been in here? I'm not sure. I don't care. Ooh, come on, stay away from me, mate. Oh, don't get behind me like that. Have one of them. Have a little poke. Have a little poke. And you. Ah! <laughs> get away, get away, get away. Oh, he died. You shitters. You absolute shitters. Oh no, I'm all the way back here. Hello again, bear man. I died in there. I'm gonna go back in with a bow. See if that uh, fares any better. I don't know where my sword's gone. I think I've lost my sword. Is that my sword there? I, th I think I need... Yeah. Do I need that? Is that... No, that's the sheath. Okay, no sword. Brilliant. I'm a terrible shot with this bow. Oh no. Come here, son. Bosh! There we go. Okay, the bow is good. The bow is good. The bow is very good. And now I can have a sword again. Give me the sword. Okay, the bow might be too good. That, that, there is a very real possibility that the bow might be too good. Hello, mate. Ah, take that. Oh, he survived that shot to the face. Ah, oh, he didn't survive that one, though. 
thank you. Give me my sword back. Where the hell is that yokai? Oh, bloody hell. I don't understand where it could possibly be. Why are you even bothering, lads? Look at me, I'm an arrow master. There we go. Dodge through there, thank you very much. You just don't ah, need it. Ooh. You've got unlimited arrows as well, I believe. Which is insane. Oh my god. Um, maybe my little dude will tell me where I can get a plant yokai. Hey, tell me where the plant yokai is, you strange little dragon monster. Uh, I need I need help. Um, check quests. Planty raid. As in like a panty raid? Okay. Bring a plant yokai in your party to the Kitsune statue with the green scarf. Well, I don't know where to find it. Can you help me? T like, where do I get it from, bro? Right, I'm going to leave it here. This has been an early-ish look uh, at uh, Samurai Slaughterhouse running natively on the Quest 2. You can get this right now and play this build if you'd like. It's available on itch.io. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and it's, it's very cool. Ah, even in this early stage, there's nothing quite like this Ooh, on the quest. Like, just being able to dismember the enemies like that is, is unique in itself. It isn't the only thing the game does right, but it's definitely a cool selling point. The aesthetic is, is absolutely gorgeous. And as I say, if you've watched Afro Samurai, it, it, it's very, very similar to the aesthetic of that anime. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. These guys are going to get me. I'm about to die, I think. I kind of need this guy to fall in half any second now, please. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. That's in half enough for me. And you as well. There we go. Give me that little donut you've got. Give me that little donut you've got there. Can I have this? Thank you very much. Now, there are some collision issues. Um, it isn't perfect just yet, but... For a native quest title, for a game that's running natively on the quest, it's really impressive. I can't wait to see how it progresses, because I would love to play through an entire story set in this world, and that's what's being built here. I just wish I could find this damn plant yokai. I've been everywhere, I've gone round about three times, and I haven't got a clue where to go. Now, when there's a lot of enemies, like there are right now, the game does get quite choppy. This is a ridiculous amount of enemies. Why are there this many enemies here? This is ridiculous! What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why have you spawned in this many people? What is going on? Oh my lord! <laughs> What's going on? They're still coming! They're still coming! They're still. I'm dead! That was always gonna happen! That was too many people! That was too many people! Right, I hope you've enjoyed. This has been Samurai Slaughterhouse. It's shaping up nicely, but I haven't got a clue where to find this plant yokai that I need to progress my story. So I'm going to go and rack my brains about that, and uh, I'll see you all soon for another one. I'll put the link to grab this in the description if you are interested. There's also a free demo on Itch.io, so you can test it out even if you're not ready to purchase the game just yet. I'll see you soon for another one, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.